Thank you very much, Professor Ranan Ryan. I can say you saved me a lot of words <laughs> that I was planning to say. Um, and, and I do believe this first um, symposium will yield um, encourage broadband of interdisciplinary and sure uh, collaboration and, uh, and you know, further research in converged uh, area. And uh, as we said, and as you mentioned already, um, if we are speaking about interdisciplinarity and convergence, uh, the most refined, optimized uh, coexistence uh, example is nature. And in that sense, a, a wonderful example and a unique one, as you said, is the Dead Sea. That should be studies, and we hope um, to do though, that. So um, Tel Aviv University, as, as you said, pursuing interdisciplinary research and being the most comprehensive university uh, with all area of science at one campus, joint forces uh, with the Dead Sea region and the Dead Sea R&D to establish uh, a university research center focusing on life in extreme area, a topic which is raising a lot of interest nowadays. Uh, personally, uh, I believe that the Dead Sea is the treasure giving, given to us. Um, and and uh, Professor Ryan really, uh, um, you know, spread all the abilities and the special unique uh, features of this area that we hope that we'll study and, um, you know, in all this area in collaboration between Tel Aviv University uh, and the Dead Sea. Um, and, and as he said, all are having a strong impact on the human life, on culture, religious, and migration settlements, and survival. Um, just to mention one example, in addition to what uh, Professor Ryan said, the Nobel Prize that uh, was awarded to um, Ada Yonat um, is thanks to the ribosome from the Dead Sea that um, then given the uh, extreme area was stable enough to be crystallized. So that's just one example of what we are hoping and looking forward in this Dead Sea. Uh, so the goal is really to, to create and to conduct all multidisciplinary, lot of collaboration with many areas in, in Israel and outside Israel and, and uh, hoping for fruitful, fruitful results. And at the first step and in collaboration with uh, Dr. Deborah Sandler, a governor at the Oxford Hebrew and Jewish Studies, we decided to start with this Jews and Judaism at the first century that has strong roots, as said, at the Dead Sea area. So it is my pleasure to invite uh, Dr. Deborah Sandler. As a governor of the Center for Hebrew and Jewish Studies, I'm delighted to be here and delighted to have been engaged in um, helping bring together these two great universities. I can say from our side, that from the Oxford side, that we very much value this collaboration. It, the initiative began well over a year ago, almost two years ago, when the president of Tel Aviv University, Yossi Klafter, made a trip to Oxford to meet with the Oxford Vice Chancellor, Andy Hamilton, and other heads of departments and members of faculties in order to explore at the institutional level not at the fellow or faculty level, but at the institutional level for the first time, um, ongoing collaboration between Tel Aviv and Oxford. And it was after that that we decided the most appropriate starting point would be work between um, Jewish studies in both universities. And the reason for this particular um, symposium has a very interesting story which I hope Martin will share. It was inspired. So Oxford, you may or may not know, has been an important center of Hebrew and Jewish studies since the 16th century. The first chair in Hebrew in the world was started by Henry VIII, founded at Christ Church College when there were no Jews in the country.
because they'd been deported centuries earlier. He did this for his own purposes, which in itself is a fascinating story. There's two main anchors of Jewish and Hebrew studies at Oxford University, in the Oriental Institute, the unit for Hebrew and Jewish studies, and at the Center for Hebrew and Jewish Studies, which has recently moved from our beautiful home in Yarnton, in Yarnton Manor, which many of you probably know, to the center of Oxford, to a beautiful, new, large, fabulous building um, right in the heart of the city and academia. The Oxford Center was founded in 1972 with the founding purpose to contribute to the restoration of the legacy of Jewish studies in post-war Europe. Today, it is at the vanguard and the most important center for Jewish and Hebrew studies in Europe. It's interdisciplinary in nature, and we have teaching and research staff from a wide range of faculties. There are undergraduate and graduate degrees, a very vibrant visitors program, which some of you may have participated in, lectures, seminars, it's the home for the publication of two leading journals, international journals. We have outreach activities and a very vibrant interaction with other faculties. It's a wonderful place to visit and a wonderful place to be. All of this is now presided over by Professor Martin Goodman, who's right here. He's a very modest man, so I, I, it, it, it's my pleasure to be able to say that he has led us all from our home in Yarnton to the center of Oxford. Martin is the president of, is the professor for Hebrew and Jewish studies at Oxford University, as well as the president of the center. And so it's my privilege to introduce Martin to come up and tell you why we're all here today. 